ready to make my shelves up here. So this is going to be a bit of a challenge. Uh, I went ahead and set my gas cans there. I, I think that's where I'm going to have them. I think that's actually where I'm going to keep them. Um, and I think I'm going to do two shelves. So here's what I'm thinking is one shelf at 42 inches, which um, I've got that marked right here. So that's just, just over, eh, it's like right at belly button height for me. Uh, I'm 5'10", so it gives you some reference. But uh, one shelf there, and the reason being is so that there's plenty of room for the handlebars on my FW-15 to go underneath that shelf a little bit because I want to have it parked over there as close as I can to the wall. And then I think I'm going to go halfway between that shelf and the ceiling. I'm going to go one more shelf. Um, both of them are going to be two feet deep in the center for reference. So you guys that are going to be building a shelf in a trailer like this, this is an eight and a half by 20. Okay, I measured across wall to wall. It's eight foot one inch. So don't go out and buy eight foot lumber to make a shelf, especially for the main piece that comes across because it's not going to be long enough, okay? Uh, unless you run a board on both sides and then run that board in between, which you could do, but I like having one solid board across the front and then my framework inside of that. That'll make more sense when I start putting this together. I've got my sheet ripped in half and I went ahead, I marked the center of the sheet and then on the sides, the short sides, are going to be eight and a quarter and that's where it comes down the side of the trailer and then it starts into the v-nose of the trailer so from my eight and a quarter mark to the center mark that's going to be my my line to follow the contour of the front of the trailer i will say it's a lot easier to do this on a v-nose than it was to do it on my uh, radius nose trailer that i had before i'll lay it in place in the trailer mark i know i'll have to take probably just a little bit off of the corner here I take a little bit off of the the corners on each on each end so uh, we'll get my initial cuts made go lay it in the trailer and see what I need to trim off so this is what I ended up with and again this one's gonna be my template for the other shelf um, mostly straight cuts I had to do a it's not quite a 45 but pretty close right there and then the front I rounded just a little bit and I did this all with a skill saw. I didn't break out any other tools. Um, and that's all definitely close enough. All right, here's what we have. Um, what I've done is I took my two by four blocks and I screwed them directly into the plywood just using uh, two and a half torque screws, two and a half inch torque screws. Um, so basically, by the time it goes to the 2x4, it has about an inch. So that'll go all the way through the half inch plywood and be half an inch into the wall, which is perfectly fine. So I've got two short blocks on each end and then a cleat down the center. And then there will be, to finish it off, there will be one in the front. But let me uh, put the shelf in here. Okay. So there's the shelf in place. And then of course there'll be a two by four across the front, which is why this is set back an inch and a half right here. The two by four will actually cap that and run flush with the front of the shelf all the way across. As you can see, everything fits pretty good. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and do my top cleat while I'm at it to make sure that the uh, same shelf is gonna fit up top as it does down on the bottom, so I don't need to make any modifications. And then I can go ahead and trace this out and cut the next shelf board. And go ahead and cut, I've got some 10 foot two by fours. Uh, most of the lumber, well, all the lumber that I got is eight foot, except for the 10 foot two by fours to go across the front because they're gonna be eight foot one inch, I think is what it ends up being, you know, to, to fit snug. Um, also, my 2x4s that run underneath the shelf, uh, those are just screwed in place right now. I will be taking those off and putting construction adhesive behind those. So I'll just run a bead right down the center of the board, end to end, the blocks also of uh, construction adhesive. So not only will it be adhered with screws but also adhesive to that half inch plywood and it should be plenty stout. I mean honestly 
um, with it all being screwed together and then also glued together, this thing should be very beefy. All right, so the shelves aren't fastened down. They're just sitting, sitting on the frame for right now. But I've got upper and lower shelf in. There's uh, 16 inches between the bottom and the top shelf, which should be should be plenty for anything. I mean, mostly what I'm going to have on that bottom shelf will be toolboxes and attachments. <clears throat> and then the top shelf will just be miscellaneous. Next step is paint. Should turn out pretty nice. So I've got a 2x4 ripped in half as my shelf flip. So it comes out at an inch and three quarter. So that's, you know, inch and three quarter up. That's a, that's a pretty decent lip to keep stuff from sliding off. I've got that on both shelves. And uh, man, these guys, these things are solid. Um, you know, I know a full two by four frame is probably a little overkill. I could have done the same thing that I did up here, um, but I want it stout and it is. Hey guys, so about as uh, far along as I'm going to get for right now, I think. Um, got my shelves painted up, as you can see. Got my hedge trimmer, my pole hedge trimmer up there and one of my attachments. Um, just for now, I need to actually come up with a better rack for that. Or, um, something, figure something out for it. But anyway... Um, I got my my chalks down. Now, this is the same as I had in my other trailer. It's just a uh, three inch by three inch aluminum angle. And it's just screwed down in three places into the decking. No big deal. Um, so that'll keep the FW15 right there in place. And I did go ahead and run my run my frame. As you can see, that's just a two by four rip down. So, just like I did on the shelves. And uh, again, I'm not gonna paint anything on the floor yet. Uh, we're, just, we're just too close to mowing season. In fact, um, in two days I'll be mowing. So there's just not enough time to get the floor painted and let it cure and all of that. Shelves are built and when they're dry, they'll be ready to use. And then of course the uh, gas cans, FW15, so all of this will probably be uh, ready to go and I'm just waiting on the rest of my green touch racks and everything so I can get all of this empty space filled up. So, as always guys, thanks for watching. Get out there and make some money and we'll catch you on the next one.